last time on Turtle Crossing. So we are almost a week into my three week vacation. The plan was to leave as soon as I hit vacation and head for the Thousand Islands. We hit a few snags, the biggest one being our alternator was no longer charging. We dropped our alternator off yesterday to get repaired and it's already fixed. This doesn't even look like the same part that we gave to the guy to fix. Ready when you are. Can you try again? Season three, here we come, bitches. It's a much bigger issue because that's the rodness that's in behind there. So maybe, maybe down there. We thought we'd be good to go once the part was fixed, but now the engine won't even start. Okay guys, let me explain where we're at right now. While well, we're digging around in the locker. Chris said when he, the switch is turned on, we have connectivity between these two, which goes towards the button that you press that starts the engine. But he thinks there might not be power getting to this. We're not even sure if there should be continuous power going to it, but there isn't any power. So we think it might have something to do with that, in which case there might be a problem with the wire leading to that. But as you can see, it's a bit of a, a bit of a big mess and uh, it goes all throughout like the parts of the boat that aren't really generally accessed. So we're gonna maybe try and tra trace the wire and then find out what's going on. I will need that lock that bird off. Okay. And chase under wires. There was something unplugged, I guess. Uh, one of the wires came unplugged while we were putting the alternator back on. So it seems to be working now, at least the, the ignition. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah.
Just go, go wide. Your thingies real tight to you, so we gotta avoid that shark too. They might not even have a motor. There's a ton of traffic. There's two boats coming in there. With dude crush in tow, batteries charging, and a beautiful sunset ahead, it was the perfect night to test our systems and finally get away from the dock. Even though we were only headed for the local anchorage across the bay, we were starting to feel optimistic about our cruise to the Thousand Islands. Now that we have our dinghy with us, we can do something we've always wanted to do. That is a big thunderhead. And that is just straight up rain clouds. But that's a thunderhead. Oop, oop, feeling the rain. We better get inside soon. It's starting to rain. You're gonna have to scoop it out anyways if it pours on us. Maybe all of the things that were going wrong today was like a sign that we shouldn't have gone out. We're gonna find out. How did you sleep, Christopher? Slept pretty well. Um, we had a halyard smacking around that I yeah. didn't want to get at first, so I put up with it for the first like, six I, hours and then fixed it for the last two. I should have gone and gotten it too. And uh, waking up, like I, I knew there was, like we had to have the, we have to have our mesh clothes for all the mosquitoes at night, but our solar panels uh, currently only work through the companion way. So I had to wake up early to plug those back in so that we were getting some charge and then turn the fridge back on because I don't think we have the battery capacity to run the fridge all night. So we're not quite a cruising boat, but we're making do with it. Ooh, and now we're making coffee and we haven't been able to do that this season um, on Anchor. 
and the weather was fine. We didn't get a, th a thunderstorm. We just got a sprinkling of rain. The wind was okay. But then I looked at the news this morning, and apparently there was a tornado that touched down in Hamilton, but it was up on the mountain. So, <laughs> anyways, we're just we're talking now and getting ready for possibly leaving tomorrow. So the issue is we got the uh, the dinghy motor up on the the, uh, the transom here, the push bit. But as soon as we lifted it, because this mount is from somebody else's boat and they had a skinnier uh, push bit rail, it doesn't quite connect. So it's too wide for the motor to mount onto it. So now we're painstakingly chiseling away to try and make it fit a little bit better. Just it's just this one piece of the T rail, like just right here where it's wide and fat. I finally get to use my birthday saw. <laughs> I know this was my mother's day gift, I guess. So the mount cracked right in half as we were tightening that on. And so probably once we take that motor off, the mount's garbage. And right now we're just getting ready to hoist Dude Crush up onto the Ford deck. And that's where he'll stay as we head towards Toronto. Because we could tow the dinghy and people do, but I think only for short distances really and not for nine hours worth of sailing so and hopefully fingers crossed the sails will all work still ready okay After navigating the kids' sailing school and getting to the fuel dock, we filled our diesel tank, our spare tank, and our gas tank for the dinghy. Only one more important job to do, and we can push off the dock for the next three weeks. So I'm hooking up our second solar panel, uh, wiring it. We mounted both solar panels the other day, uh, and we, we need to get our steaming light figured out as well. You made a rope ladder for that yesterday. Yeah, I made a, a <laughs> bunch of, I forget what they're called, it's a knot called like an alpine butterfly loop. Uh, but I made a bunch of those. Uh, a year ago, we lifted Sarah up the mast and, and it was difficult to, to take the entire weight of somebody up the mast. So I thought it would be better if that person could climb and then the halyards could just take up the slack as that person climbs. Just as a precaution so that if you slip, you're getting caught, but instead of using it to actually hoist somebody. Yeah.
Did you? Yeah, every bit of it. Squash my balls. <laughs> Our buddy Chris pointed out that with the tape wrapped around the mast, we would not be able to get the mainsail up, so we needed to come up with a solution. So all, problems, uh, all the problems caused by tape can be solved by tape. And with that final cut, we are actually ready to go. Boat's going at seven o'clock. We're about to head out. Wind has died down a little bit, but it's still behind us, so that's good. And <sighs> spider webs. Uh, William's just getting his life jacket on. Get going.